what's up guys? I'm Miranda Epperson and welcome to my Alexis Ren eyelash tutorial. Woohoo! Anyway, I asked you guys on Instagram if you want to see how I did these lashes. And y'all said yes, so I'm gonna do them for you right now. I don't know if it's just me who has noticed that Alexis Ren's eyelashes are hella long and super like just fanned out, but it's always been my dream to achieve those lashes. Okay, so I saw this photo of her, and if you zoom in on those lashes, dang, I mean, they're just so long. And not only that, they're quite separated and thick at the base. I know she's wearing makeup here, but I am sure you can achieve this look just using two products. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara from Maybelline New York and a Shuamura Eyelash Curler. It doesn't need to be Shuamura, it's just the one I have, but I'm sure any eyelash curler will do. So let me take you closer. All right, welcome to the close-up of my eyes. Right now, I'm not wearing any powder or foundation or concealer. I just got a little bit of the eyebrows on and I'll be just putting on mascara. So the first step would be to curl the lashes. Usually we want to curl the lash in this direction like an arch, but we're literally just gonna curl it at the base so that it's facing up. Because if you see in the photo, her eyelashes are basically like angled this way and almost touching her eyebrow, it's crazy. I'm pushing down, I'm squeezing just so that my eyelashes curl all the way up to the sky, to so the heavens, God, I just want them eyelashes like hers. So you can already see a difference, this is really just pointing up while this one is kind of facing forward, but we're gonna curl it up even more. We just really want it to be sticking up like that, but I know <laughs> it's impossible, we can only do so much. I think that's good. Let's do the other side. Another trick that works to really make sure your eyelashes stay in place is to heat up the curler, but I think it's fine this way. You're gonna put mascara so that there's gonna be hold, so don't worry about it. Okay, so normally when I put on mascara, I just give it a few swipes, but this actually takes a little bit more practice and finesse. So here's the mascara. This is how the wand looks like. It's just a piece of plastic, it's not like a brush. It has little plastic bristles at the end, so you can really get in those lashes. I like this mascara because it really flares out the mascara, it gives you nice volume at the base, but also gives you length. And because it has such tiny bristles, it helps control and separate the lashes without it clumping. So the key to achieving these Alexis Ren lashes is that first we have to lengthen and then we gotta separate it. But when you do this, you kinda gotta work fast because the mascara does dry up. So let's do this. So here I'm just putting on the first coat. You can already see the lashes thickening at the bottom. Normally I'd be happy with this, but in order to achieve it, here we go girl. Okay, so you gotta just section it out into little pieces. By using the tip of the wand, you're gonna clump them into little sections. This will make the lashes appear fuller and more spidery in a sense. At least this is how her lashes look like. It's hard guys, but this wand really makes clumping it easy since it's quite thin. Clumping it into sections like this makes it look long and wispy. There we go, I think we've done it guys! You can already see a big difference that this is just, you know, like all fanned out and pointing up. But look at this, you can see the individual strands clumped together. And they're really just long and feathery. Even when I look straight, it still looks like my eyelashes are fanning up. Now she doesn't only do the top set of lashes, she does the bottom as well, so we gotta work on that too. I love this mascara not only because it's waterproof, but because it picks up a little product and a little bit goes a long way. Alright, so we do the same for the bottom. We are gonna section them. There you go. So essentially, this is kinda how we wanted it to turn out, guys. I believe this is the closest that I can get to achieving her lashes <laughs> with just mascara. And when I snap, the other eye will be done. 
And there you have it guys, this is how I achieve Alexis Wren's eyelashes. I believe this is the closest I can get to achieving her lashes without any falsies. I did not want to do this tutorial with individual falsies because I don't like using them in a sense that I'm not good at using them. <laughs> I need more practice to applying falsies, but I'm sure it will make a big difference in achieving her lashes. And at the same time, I know you guys don't always have falsies on hand and don't have the time to go and apply those things and liner and everything. So I feel like this is the best way to achieve her lashes. And what I meant by achieving her lashes is really just, you know, you don't even have to be looking up for you to see how fanned out they are. And curling your lashes is a very important step. And you know, kind of just pushing them back to stick to your face. The mascara is already dry, so you can kind of push it back a bit just so that they stick out more. Same with the bottom lashes. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial. If you did, please go and give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any more suggestions for future videos or tutorials you'd like to see, you can leave it in the comments down below. And of course guys, thank you so much for always <laughs> supporting me and the, the content that I create. So if you want more of this awesomeness, then please go and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified every time I post a video, then you can click the little bell button down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.